With a bold emphasis on the historical, cultural, touristic and heritage significance of Panama's colonial Transithmian route, the country seeks its inclusion on UNESCO's World Heritage List. This achievement, if realized, would contribute to the continuous revaluation of the nation's culture and identity as the bridge of the world, further boosting the comprehensive and touristic development of the site and its surroundings, says Panamanian Culture Minister Giselle González Villarrué. Authorities have been working tirelessly on restoration, care, conservation and planning to ensure the route's inclusion adhering to a series of phases and a strategy set by the Panamanian government for inscription. The first phase was submitted to UNESCO in February. Gonzalez emphasized that UNESCO's world heritage status is a recognition of the importance of cultural, historical and architectural value of sites that have played a crucial role in world history. The colonial Transithmian route encompasses the archaeological site of Panama Viejo and the historic district of Panama, a World Heritage Site since 1997, the fortifications of the Caribbean coast of Panama, Portobello and San Lorenzo, on the list of World Heritage in Danger since 2012, and the colonial roads connecting them, the Camino de Cruces and the Camino Real. Throughout this time, management and restoration efforts have followed various processes. The minister also highlights the continuous revaluation of cultures and identities which bestows international prestige upon the country and allows for comprehensive development. As she points out, this is a public, private and citizen commitment to the conservation and development of the site. In July 2019, UNESCO's World Heritage Committee decided to postpone the inscription of Panama's colonial Transithmian route, awaiting a revised proposal from the Central American nation that met a series of recommendations. Now, unlike in 2019, the justification for the universal values of the proposed sites on this route has been reinforced, with new archaeological and historical studies and research prepared by our scientific team from the Center for Historical, Anthropological and Cultural Research, the minister said through a committee for the integrated management plan for the entire route.